Hi, everyone. I have John Mangus here with me. John has been a team member of the Warburton team for quite a while, so I've known John for quite some time. Um, I have John here because he opened an escrow with one of his nurture clients. And John, I wanted uh, you to talk about how um, that nurture process went until you got them into escrow. Yeah, um, well, nice speaking with you, Jenny. Um, so yeah, I received this client uh, beginning of the year, um, immediately got her on the phone with the lender um, to go through the whole pre-approval process and come to find out she had a couple of credit issues um, along with needing to save up a little bit of money as well. Um, so, and those credit issues took her, you know, several months to fix. Um, luckily, she hopped on it right away. Um, she was very motivated to buy. Uh, so that helped her, you know, speed up the process to get those issues corrected. Um, and then fast forward, probably maybe three months or so, um, all that stuff got resolved, um, got her actually fully, fully approved with the DU. Um, and at that point, we started going, um, you know, health shopping. Um, right away, we submitted um, two offers. Actually, two of them, we both got out, outbidded. Mm -hmm. um, during that time, I was educating her about the market, um, how you know a lot of these homes are going over asking sometimes. Um, so she also had another little hiccup too, where she needed um, some concessions to help with her closing costs because she didn't quite have enough money. So with this competitive market, we had to, I had to explain to her how we need to go quite a bit well above the asking to get those, to get a seller to agree for that, for that credit, mm -hmm. uh, which um, she, she agreed with me. So on that third offer we wrote, we went quite a bit over asking, uh, got those concessions and we opened escrow. So while you were nurturing her while while she was fixing her credit you mm -hmm. touch with her by just sending her articles or what what was the process of keeping oh her definitely in? well because after the first time we i met with her of course i got all of her criteria what she's looking for mm -hmm. the neighborhood she's wanting to um uh, you know move to mm -hmm. so I, I put all that into a property search and immediately started sending her properties um mm -hmm. so during that nurturing nurturing process i uh checked in with her every couple of weeks Mm -hmm. uh, and just to make sure she's receiving those properties, um, showing her just basically the trend of what you know where the market's going and and how quick some of these houses are selling for, mm -hmm. especially the ones that she was you know really interested in. Yeah. Uh, so when that time was ready, when she was ready to go to, uh, to purchase, mm -hmm. she was already informed. Okay, these houses are getting offers accepted within the first seven days. Right. So it wasn't a surprise to her because you exactly. kind of preempted her on that. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That's nice because, because it showed that, you know, you were really there for her, for her best interest. And she knew, you know, when she was ready, what she was going to get into. So that was, that's, that's really nice. And I know you're really good at that. And we've had, you know, clients that we worked with that we've had to do the same thing because of whatever mm -hmm. issues that they had. So you're definitely really, really good at that. And we're excited that you um, opened this one, but your patience paid off and we're super happy for you. Don. All right. Well, she's my client. She's very happy that we got, you know, into this home. Um, yeah. yeah. She can't be more thankful. Awesome. Yeah. Aww, that's awesome. Congrats again. All right. Well, thank you, Jenny. Bye. Don, bye.